Miranda, hope you're doing all right. But why'd you send me your address? Are you in trouble? Because I finally did it. I finally divorced him. How did you get to Serafina Town so quick? It's a six hour drive from New York. I had a meeting with Nanny Agatha. She offered me a job. I politely declined. But when I asked her where you lived, she told me, because she knows that I like to look after you. I have a shop, a mechanic shop here in Serafina Town. So I got myself an apartment. Figures, you didn't have to look after me. Capable of handling myself, I told you that. No one knows where I am aside from my sister-in-law. Well, after finding your ex-husband, I encountered your mother-in-law's boyfriend who shot me in the shoulder. So I realized how dangerous these people in your life are. And your mother-in-law is pretty dangerous. So I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Ever since you took her grandson away from her, I don't know. I've never been, and I still am not, scared of my mother-in-law. Serafina Town has given me a whole new lease on life and I feel like a totally different person. And what about when it comes to custody for your ex-husband? You know, that's still left on the table. He's gonna wanna see his son. I've moved on. His family had a chance at being there for Junior and they failed. I think that me getting a divorce, I think it speaks volumes to how much I've moved on. So you're not worried about him taking custody of Junior anymore? Is that what you're saying? Junior lives with me right now. For Joey to even attempt to fight for custody, he would need my address and he would need to know where I am and he doesn't. And even if he did, I will fight tooth and nail to keep Junior away from that family. Well, you're no longer married, but do you still love him? That's what I need to know. I wouldn't have divorced him if I still loved him. Well, and that's all I needed to hear. Because I've been waiting for something for a very long time. You're not the only one that's been waiting. <laughs>